Hi, I'm Jeff Stark. Thank you for joining me today. <clears throat> About three weeks ago, I was at a dinner party with some friends and family, and uh, I asked a question to those who were there if they were aware of a, um, a comic strip describing a marital problem uh, that was making its way around the internet. And I was asking if they had been aware of that comic strip, and most of them have said no. So I pulled it up on my phone, and I passed my phone around, and everyone had a chance to look at it. And uh, when everyone was done, a lot of people found it very, very interesting. But one lady in particular said to me that the, the, the marital problem that was described in this comic strip was identical to the problems that she and her husband had in the first five years of their marriage. She said that the first five years of her marriage were very hard and very, very difficult because they were going through the very same thing that the comic strip was describing as a marital problem. And it was making their marriage, made their marriage a very, very difficult one. She also said this, she said, at that time, in those five years, I was talking to my friends about our problems that my husband and I were having, and the wives that she was talking to, almost every one of them said, that's the same problem that my husband and I are having, and it's making our marriage very, very difficult and very, very hard. So I found that very, very interesting. And at that point, I, I decided that we would, in our videos together here, look at that problem or those problems that the comic strip was describing and apply biblical counseling to that problem in the hopes of helping those who struggle uh, with that problem uh, do better uh, in their marriages. Apparently, it's a very common problem, and I think it is based on about 40 years of marriage counseling. I would say it is a very common problem, and it's also a problem that uh, can be very, very painful and very, very difficult uh, and very, very hard for couples. So today we're going to look at problem number one that the comic strip describes. Our next video is going to look at problem number two, and then the subsequent videos, number three, four, five, and six, are going to apply biblical counseling as to how to help couples who struggle with uh, that problem that the comic strip was describing. Okay, so today we're going to look at one problem, and I'll do that right now. So the problem was, to, the comic strip was describing a wife who, from the morning that she wakes up to the time that she goes to bed, she is very, very busy and very, very active about doing household chores. And she was lamenting in the comic strip that she is not only very, very busy from morning, noon to night doing household chores, but her husband seems to have very little interest in helping her do those chores or doing the minimal best, at best, the minimum of um, help uh, that he would be willing to contribute to it. So the wife would go through the dining room. Uh, she goes through the kitchen. She goes to the bathroom. She goes to the bedroom. She goes to the, uh, the basement, the TV room, perhaps the rec room, to the living room, to the bedroom. And if you were to ask the wife to go through those various rooms, she could identify probably one or two or three or four or maybe even five things that have to be done in each and every one of those rooms to maintain properly and rightfully uh, a household. And so she goes from room to room trying to do those sorts of things, um, but uh, it takes the, the, a a whole day worth of doing that. Along the way, she may ask her husband to help, but he's very reluctant to help. He'll, he does not help. Uh, and so she um, she's having to do it primarily, if not exclusively, then 90% or 80% of what's being done is being done by her as she's trying to manage this household essentially by, her help, so, by herself. Her husband is not absent. He's present, at least in the evenings and perhaps in the morning. And she asks him to do various things, but they simply don't get done or only one in five or one in ten of them get done. And uh, it, but it, it, So she feels like she's having to do this all by herself. She's not only picking up after herself in all those rooms, but she's also having to pick up, organize, and clean after her husband 
who is doing 5% or maybe just 10% of what really needs to be done. Now, if you throw in that one or two or three kids, then you have a wife who's not only picking up after herself in those rooms, she's having to pick up after her husband in all those various rooms, cleaning up after him because he's not doing his part. And she's having to pick up after her children as well in, in their rooms in addition to the other rooms. Because why? Well, they're children. They don't pick after themselves, of course. And so she's having to do the work for herself. She's got three kids. That means she's picking up after four people. And then she's got a husband who she's picking up and cleaning up after. She's doing the work of five people. And that is a, that's a very, very difficult place for a woman to be, but apparently one that's not unfamiliar to a lot of wives and who also happen to be mothers. This results in three things. Number one, it results in a wife who eventually, after two or three or four or five years of that, who is, is going to be very, very frustrated. She's going to be also very, very angry because she's having to do it primarily by herself. And she's very frustrated and very angry at her husband for not pulling his weight and doing his part in these matters. Secondly, you're going to have a wife who's not just simply frustrated and angry and annoyed, but you're going to have a woman and a wife and a mother who's going to be also very, very tired. You're going to look at this woman and you're going to, you're going to see someone who is bone weary tired because from the earliest moments that she wakes up through the course of the, before she goes to bed, she's having to do all those things primarily by herself. Her children obviously aren't going to help uh, and her husband's not being helpful. And so she's doing the work of five people, and she's going to be aging very, very quickly. The third thing is, is you're going to have a husband who's going to be annoyed and bothered and also frustrated and angry. Why? He's going to put it in terms of the fact that he's got a wife who every day nags him and nags him and nags him and tells him to do this and pick that up and put that away. And I've told you 20 times, well, clean the dining room table, pick up the stuff in the living room. Clean up in the bedroom where your your jackets and your socks and your underwear, and and put the stuff in the wash and don't leave it there if it's got don't leave it for me to put it in the dryer. You go in the wash, put the wash in the dryer, but it doesn't get done. So he's really annoyed because uh, he's got a wife he doesn't like being nagged by his wife. He doesn't like being mothered uh, by his wife. And he might even say, and one, it would be very typical in this situation for the husband to complain that his, that his wife's treating him like his mother used to be. And in that case, it wouldn't be unusual for the wife to say, if you did more work around the house, I wouldn't have to nag you like your mother used to nag you. And so you're going to have, thirdly, a husband who's going to be annoyed and upset because he's being treated like a little boy, doesn't like to be mothered, and doesn't like to be nagged about these various duties. This can, be, this can be a very serious, damaging marital problem. And what we're going to do in the next number of videos is we're going to look at problem number two, and then we're going to get into the solutions on how the scriptures and the power of the Holy Spirit can transform a couple who are having that problem. If this describes your marriage, then I would invite you to watch the subsequent videos as we um, videotape them. And also, if you happen to know some friends who are struggling similarly in their marriages as the one that I've described here, that described the comic strip that's going around the internet, well, then you might want to tell them about these videos as well, because uh, there is hope for husbands and wives who are struggling and failing in this area. I hope you'll look forward to these videos and watch them, because I'm, I'm very, very hopeful that we're going to be helpful to couples who struggle in this. So stay tuned, come back, see you uh, with video number two uh, next time around. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.